you've battled through some injuries. Matter of fact, I think you're coming off surgery right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I saw y'all picture at the Capitol and everything like that. And you had the crutches and everything like that. So people don't know you. You've been through a lot in terms of uh, physically and mentally. We're gonna get to that later. But it just in terms of the the physical things, you've you've played through a lot. But you wouldn't notice that if you watch how hard you play. Who inspired you to like play the game that way with such toughness? I, I I wouldn't say no one inspired me. It's just something that has always been inside of me. Like, mm. I love the statement, like, it got to be in you, not on you. You know what oh, I'm saying? So yeah. it's just always been in me. And, like, even when I am, like, not giving 100%, a person would think that I'm giving 100%. You get what I'm saying? Because it's just something that I've always carried. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. So driven from within, huh? Oh, Yeah. Yeah, see that that reminds me of a, a book I read. Michael Jordan wrote a book uh called Driven from Within. Mm -hmm. And I read that as a child. And so I always that's one of the things I always try to do is be intrinsically motivated, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that, that speaks a lot uh to you being able to overcome a lot of this stuff. How how is your rehab going, by the way? Oh, it's going excellent. I just got off crutches yesterday, so I'm walking with no crutches. Um they told me that it would only take six weeks to recover. So, you know, that was great to hear. So what, what was the surgery you had to have? Okay, so before I left UAB last year, I had tore my meniscus, and it was kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, I had tore my meniscus in the second to last conference game, and um, I didn't even – I had no idea it was torn. I continued that game play. I think I had a double-double that game. Mm. It's like I knew when I did it, I knew something wasn't right because I had bit down. I, tears came up, then I said, forget it. I'm finna keep playing. So um my trainer at the time was like, you know, Miracle, let me know if it continue to, you know, bother you. The next day I woke up, you know, it was the last game, well, our last game because we lost. Mm -hmm. In conference in the conference tournament, and my knee was so swole. And like I tried to go just because of who I am, but in the game I couldn't really go. So when we got back to Birmingham, I had um they had scheduled me an appointment with the doctor. And they had confirmed that my meniscus was torn. <clears throat> so I ended up getting it repaired last year in April. Uh -huh. And like with me transferring and stuff, I didn't get to recover it well. So when I got here, it's like I was experiencing the same problems, like uh -huh. in the feeling. And also a big bump had um, started to form, form on the side of my knee. And they couldn't, you know, really tell what it was. So they did an MRI in December. And they just was like, well, it like your meniscus is, you know, it's either retorn partially again, or it never really healed from the first surgery. Right. And they couldn't tell what the bump was, so they we all agreed to just wait till after the season, you know, to just go in. Right. So when they went in um, two weeks ago, they said it was, in fact, you know, um, partially torn again, and the bump on the side was a ganglion cyst. So, so you played half the season like that? All the season. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, after knowing, like, I mean, after being told that it's probably, it's wrong, oh, yeah, that you yeah. still actively went out there and said, I'm finna go hoop with my team. Oh, yeah, he told me you can. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday, he was like, You can, you know, we can go in right now, or you can circle around after the season. I said, Well, we circling around. No doubt about it. <laughs> Cause I just knew, like, in the That's I was struggling true. a little bit in the beginning of the season. And I just right. knew that it would get better. Also, with the encouraging words that my my coaches and teammates were, you know, filling me with, I just knew it was gonna get better. You know, and if they believed in me that much, I could sacrifice myself for them. That's big, right there. See. I'm going to make sure my daughter sees this answer right here. If she don't see nothing else, because America, see, uh, 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 and, and pardon me, the miracle request, this kind of stuff that pisses me off. Uh, America, y'all be trying to act like these women in sports ain't displaying any toughness and stuff like that. This woman went out here and played a whole season on a messed up knee on a team that was stacked. So she could have easily just packed it up. And say, you know what, well, I ain't gonna mess up my stuff for next year. I'm gonna come back when, when uh next year and get all the points and all that kind of stuff. I'm miss no, she knew her team was set up to do something special and she played for her team. So that is a salute to you, Queen. That's some big stuff right there. Real talk. 